Hey there, Alex Kidman here, and Apple has just announced that its satellite SOS service has just gone live in Australia. But I'm going to put the brakes on here and just make something really, really clear. This is a satellite SOS emergency service. It's not a toy. It's not a game. It's not something you should muck around with for fun or try and use for pranking. No, just don't. It's there to help people in emergencies. It's there to help save lives. It's a really good interesting technology. It's really interesting to see how it works, but it's not there for fun. I should also point out all, everything you're going to see here was done under controlled conditions before Satellite SOS had launched in Australia. So none of what you're seeing is going through to people who are going to send out ambulances or anything like that. The response is not going to be there. This was simply to show how it works in real time. And I think that's also useful and instructive because this is not an entirely quick system. And if you do find yourself using it, and hopefully you never will, you do have to keep that in mind. So for the sake of argument, let's say that I've gone out hiking with a group of my friends, but we've become horribly, horribly lost, and there's no mobile signal at all. What are we going to do? Well, the first thing that you would try to do, or should try to do in Australia, is call triple zero. And that's actually how you use this service. And it will try, as you can see here, will try to actually make that call happen. Now, there is no mobile signal where I am. It is not going to happen. That little satellite icon shows there's nothing, not even an SOS. Because there's no connection, you get the emergency text via satellite button coming up. And that's when you can fire that into view. Now, the thing here, and this will go through the process, is it's actually going to ask you a bunch of different questions, depending on the nature of your emergency. It's like a little questionnaire. It's quite sensible, really, because it will fairly quickly be able to tell the emergency services what the problem is, as well as where you are. And it will then send an SMS message. But first, it's got to find the satellites. This is what I'm showing here, even though you can see me in reflection. Now, it takes time to light up the satellite. But when you do, it'll light up green. It'll say, right, I found a satellite in the sky. Australia should be reasonably well covered, but you may have small periods of time, a minute or so, where you don't have it. So if you are having an emergency or if you think you're going to get in trouble, maybe it's worth thinking about doing this sooner rather than later. But Having filled out my information, I can then say, right, these are the problems. This is what's going on. Again, simulated. I'm not actually in an emergency in this case, but if I was, this is exactly what it would look like. And you can then go from there and get yourself rescued as well. Something I skipped over in that quick description was as well, you can also choose to send to emergency contacts. And that's important because it lets you then let family members, loved ones, whoever you actually determine, I think it's up to 10 people, know that something's going on. They'll also see the nature of the emergency as well, which is quite comforting, I think. The other thing you can do with the satellite service is actually just send that location to your contacts. Now, you can only do that every couple of minutes or so, but it can be a useful way, obviously, just to say, hey, look, this is where I am. I'm outside phone range. I'm outside any kind of phone network range, but this is where I am. So if you're on a hike and you want to let a loved one know, hey, something's going on. Again, you've just got to find those satellites. Now for that, you cannot send messages. It's just, here is my location or here is where this phone is. So obviously it's important to keep your phone nearby. Anyway, this is a really neat bit of technology. I think it's something that genuinely in the Australian context can save lives because I think we've all seen those horrible stories of people getting stuck in the outback and, and, and sadly passing away. This could help solve for that. You know, that's my quick run through of the satellite SOS service. You need an Apple iPhone 14 or better, which is basically at the moment of recording this, a 14, uh, 14 Plus or 14 Pro Max, in order to use it updated to the latest iOS. Otherwise, the service is there and free for at least two years. Apple hasn't actually said what it's going to do costs wise after that two year period is up, though. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's all I've got. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.